Renaissance painting encompasses the period in the history of European art that lies between the art of the Middle Ages and the Baroque. The painting of this period is characterized by the idea of the return to classical antiquity, an antiquity that is idealized as a stage where the purest values reside and that was projected as the opposite image to the dark Middle Ages. Among the new values that emerged in this era, the following stand out. Anthropocentrism, which recognizes man as the only responsible author and absolute protagonist of destiny, of his life and of history, relegating medieval theocentric ideas to the background. Humanism, understood as a system of beliefs centered on the principle that the needs of human sensibility and intelligence can be satisfied without having to accept the existence of God. At this point it should be emphasized that humanism did not represent the denial of the existence of God, but rather the diminution of his importance with respect to the life of man. Derived from the two previous values, it is possible to understand the eruption of secularism, understood as a political and economic model in which religion ceases to occupy a central and leading role and where the church is losing the right to impose conditions in public life, culture, the management of goods and even individual ideology and intimate life. This implies the opening of new scenarios in the dispute between the limits of divine power and earthly power. Individualism, understanding the human being as a spiritual individual characterized by a new self-awareness, as an autonomous and capable being, endowed with an independent personality. This feeling of individuality, where man sees himself as the master of his destiny, is even more understandable if we place the human being in the context of new social relations that are much more dynamic both in the social sphere and in his environment, due in large part to the gradual breakdown of the dominance of feudal relations. Derived from the conjunction of the aforementioned points, the Renaissance human being begins to be aware that he can question absolute truths through knowledge, thus skepticism arises. Skepticism is based on the postulates of the ancient Greeks and the famous Socratic Maeutics, which rejected universal truths and questioned sophisms as a means to generate new knowledge. This current of thought doubts about everything that is not measurable or quantifiable, being the cornerstone for science and the subsequent development of rationalism and the scientific method. A clear example of this is René Descartes' classic and well-known phrase, I doubt, therefore I think, therefore I am. Let us clarify that Maeutics is the second phase of the Socratic method. The first is the so-called Socratic irony, in which the teacher simulates ignorance about the subject to be discussed, and then makes the student understand that what he thought he knew he did not really know and that his knowledge was based on prejudices or habits. Next comes Maeutics, which is the pedagogical action of the method. The technique consists of asking questions to the interlocutor until he accepts that he only knows that he knows nothing. For its part sophism is known as reason or false argument with the appearance of truth and formulated with the aim of deceiving the interlocutor. Patronage, patronage should be understood as the protection or economic aid given to a cultural, artistic or scientific activity. Patronage was a key factor for the export of the ideological model of the elites of the time under a new economic and financial model much more dynamic based on trade and far removed from a feudalism based on the possession and exploitation of land. Italy is considered the cradle of Renaissance painting. It is important to point out that in Italy the monuments of antiquity were preserved in view, which they wanted to revive, looking for models of harmony and beauty. And also in Italy were located a number of economically powerful city-states such as Florence, Naples, Venice, Genoa, Milan and Rome itself, where truly powerful families resided and who also exercised patronage. From its emergence in Italy, the Renaissance spread progressively throughout Europe. There are a number of characteristics that distinguish Renaissance painting from medieval painting. Evocation of the ancient with a sense of idealized beauty. Protagonism of nature, the paintings are set in natural landscapes that are tried to recreate faithfully, or in architectural frames, in which columns and pediments serve to exalt the perspective. The human figure becomes the center and measure of all things. Mastery of perspective and compositional techniques. The effects of lights and shadows such as chiaroscuro, hence the emergence of new techniques such as sfumato, misty effect, a technique in which Leonardo da Vinci excelled. Oil painting was adopted almost exclusively. If in the Middle Ages painting was almost exclusively religious, in the Renaissance new themes were introduced, such as mythological, allegorical, and historical themes. The nude appears, not by itself, but in the framework of a nature painting. Since the Catholic Church was one of the main patrons of the time, religious paintings continued to be painted. To see more history videos, visit my channel in the video description. Next video, the characteristics of Italian Renaissance painting.